Hello. How is engineering? It is literally making my hair go backwards. Oh my god, it is so fucking hard. Ah. I, I, I can't do it anymore. I can't fucking do it. I want to drop out. Nah, I'm playing. But 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 still, it's it's it's, uh, it's, it's actually really just tiring on me. D don't remind me of it now. I have a test I have to study for on Monday. Fuck. Rip indeed, my friend. In fact, I'll study while I'm doing this live stream. Fuck it. Try to get some of my brain power pumping. Uh, let's see here. I'll still continue to do the live stream, but I'll just, while I'm studying, I'll just like, you know, while I'm doing the live stream, I'll just study a bit. Try to memorize it, if that makes sense. Let's see here. This informant is full of shit. So difficult, man. Uh, I, I can't do this anymore, people. I'm, I think I'm starting to go insane. Didn't I write down the formula somewhere? What the fuck? Oh, there's the formula. Okay. Actually, I'll do some of my homework for that class. Maybe while doing it. Actually, never mind. Fuck it. Let's let's my let's let my mind relax. Okay, this is a live stream. This is not the uh, the study stream. Here's what I do whenever I have a test on Monday and I need to study for that test. What I do is I go. I essentially what I do here's what, here's what I essentially do right I I delay it I don't well I don't delay it I study I start studying on like late Saturday I don't do anything on Friday night I I love Fridays okay I'm not gonna waste my Friday doing that shit but I delay it to like late Saturday and I study my ass off from late Saturday to early Sunday. Like, I study a lot on late Saturday for, like, a few hours, and then an early Sunday I study for Sunday I study for a few hours, and then that's when I stop. I stop when I pretty much understand this shit, or if I really don't understand this shit that much, but I'm just too tired. And I'm just like, alright, if I don't understand it now, I'm not gonna understand it for the test. We'll, we'll take the L. But I don't think it's gonna be like this for this one. Okay, what's wrong with my internet? I need to get better internet. 
Uh, you know, you know, I need to start using a LAN connection because LAN connect Ethernet is way better than Wi-Fi. You, did you guys know that? It's way more stable, just way better. Wi-Fi is just shit. Uh, I'm on Twitter right now, and I got 19 notifications. It's probably going to be really autistic shit. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. More fucking more autism. Like... It's literally just fucking dipshit former fans who can't handle the fact that Mega Dupe has come back. Ugh. Like, kill me now, please. Just kill me now. I mean, I'm on, I, at this point, I'm probably going to delete my Twitter. Because every, t every time I go on Twitter, there hasn't been a single time where I would go on Twitter and not, and not come out of Twitter wanting to kill myself. I took that from it, NPAX, by the way. Because it's true. I mean, the website is filled with fucking retards. No one wants to chat? Okay. What even is the point of live streaming when I whenever I do and people like in the fucking chat don't even say anything? It just makes it like makes me not want to do it. Fuck this shit.
Hello. I get that feeling from Twitter at times as well. Yeah, because Twitter, the people who use it are the dumbest fuckers imaginable. I mean, I'm, at this point, I might just delete my Twitter because I can't stand going on their website anymore. Every time I go on my notifications, it's always some really stupid shit. Like, really dumb shit. Anyways, what do you guys want me to talk about? That's the main reason why I'm doing this live stream because, like, I I returned it all and I'm making, starting to make videos again, but I don't know what to make videos about anymore. I mean, I want to talk about gaming and history and shit, but at the same time, I don't really think my audiences would be that interested. So at the same time, I kind of want to talk about shit that you guys would actually enjoy, and I don't know what to fucking talk about. I really don't. Thoughts on ContraPoints? Okay, guys, I'm going to be compl completely honest here. I don't really like the leftist YouTubers. I'm sorry, I, I really don't. With the exception of Sean, I don't really like any of them because a lot of them, like, just their videos just aren't really entertaining. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? And it's like, you, you kind of need to do more than just to make fun of right-wingers because literally any fucker with a brain can do that, okay? Like, come on. Yeah, not really a fan of, uh, you know, their channels, to be honest. Like, people like uh, ContraPoints and, like, um, who else? H-Bomber guy, those guys, not really, uh, not really a fan of their channels. They're, they're just boring for my taste. Uh, the channels I really like, though, are Sean and Three Arrows. Th those guys, I mean, those guys don't try to be entertaining. They just try to be informative, and, yeah, their videos are really Especially Three Arrows. His videos where he talks about the Nazis were genuinely great. But yeah, like, yeah.
Also, the video he did where he talked about the Crusades was fucking amazing. Honestly, anybody who unironically thinks that the Crusades were like, um, were a defensive war is is just a fucking retard. Like they legit know nothing about history. I mean, fucking Stephen Crowder unironically thinks that the Ottomans were a thing in the 11th century. For fuck's sake. When the Ottoman Empire did not come into existence until 1299. Like... That right there should immediately discredit anything he ever has to say. If you unironically believe something so, like, incorrect and so out of touch with history, and you start spouting that shit, that's right there to any person with a brain should shut, like, shut, shut off anybody from ever watching your shit ever again. Because fucking hell, that is genuinely fucking retarded. The Ottoman Empire existed in the 11th century. Kiss my fucking ass. How about that? The Ottoman Empire was a badass fucking empire, though. It was really cool. Do I have a hot take? Guys, isn't my entire channel a hot take? Or used to be one? I can't believe I'm honestly starting to feel a bit of nostalgia for reviewer review. I, I can't believe those were videos that were made two years ago at this point. Thoughts on the dirtbag left? I, I don't know what you mean by that. Honestly, as much as I really don't want to do this, let's see what fucking Ben Deluni's been up to. Ugh, kill me now. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. He brought back Ben Rance. Okay. Uh, thoughts.
thoughts on Turkey Tom? I, I haven't watched Turkey Tom in a long ass time. I don't really care anymore. Alright, he made a video talking about fucking kids cartoons with Rule 34. Should I, should I click? Should I even click and risk my sanity? I have a test on Monday. I have a test on Monday. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're doing a reaction. Maybe that'll get people watching the fucking stream. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Kill me now. Just fucking kill me now, please. There you go. Don't say I've never done anything for you fuckers, okay? Ugh. Then the loony reaction. There you go, fuckers. Right, there you go. There you go. I'm risking my sanity. I think I have a test on Monday for you fuckers. So thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay? Like, I hate all of you. Okay? I want you guys to understand that right now. Ugh, alright, let's watch this shit. This is this is probably gonna be really fucking cringy. Ugh. What are people saying in the comments? Yes, torture is fun. Yeah, no, fuck you. Alright, let's do this. Welcome back. Is that seriously his intro now? Oh, <laughs> let's do this. To Ben Rance, and when I was a kid, child abuse was considered building character. As you know, folks, I'm a connoisseur of cartoon lewdness. It's no secret. I've lied about it plenty of times in the past. I even make my own. As you know, we Rule 34 artists are just like everybody else. Just trying to get by and make the world a more peaceful place. No, no, you're, no, you're not. Just, just stop. Just, just fucking stop. Uh. <laughs> By drawing all of your favorite cartoon characters getting gangbanged, there's methods to our madness. But still, no matter how much we try to show our personalities are not like our artwork, you still get the people who want to demonize us. Case yeah. Case like the medium article. Yeah, no, because you're you're drawing porn of like kids in cartoons. <laughs> oh my god! Am I really doing this right now? Is my sanity really just? Am I really just not that like? Am I really just that unkind? Is that even a word? Yeah, I'm already going crazy. Am I really just that evil to my sanity that I'm doing this right now? Fuck this shit right now in the asshole. I don't want to watch this. Kids TV has a porn problem. This article is a migraine and a half to read, and it attacks us artists of Rule 34 for supposedly indoctrinating kids. Yeah, I had to suffer through it, and I'm taking y'all with me. Link to the article below if you want to read it for yourself. But they forgot to put a warning at the start that it might cause brain damage. So I'm warning y'all for it. Ain't that nice of me? The whole article is about a person going on a spiel about how children's animation is full of pervs who are open about porn and are in turn getting kids indoctrinated. Um, I mean, there was people like, I mean, just looking at the article, he mentions fucking Chris Savino and John Crook, Crick Falusi. So, is it, is it really that fucking far-fetched to sit there and say that? That kids TV has a bunch of perms working around with it. Oh fuck it up. Demonize. Yeah, exactly. Like this the fact that this fucker honestly says the de demonize with a straight face, like, oh no, we're getting demonized for drawing porn of like kid characters on online? What fucking madness? <laughs> Oh my god, I don't want to watch this shit. Why do you fuckers want me to watch this garbage? Alright, let me move this fucking shit a bit here. Do you guys really hate me? Like, did I do anything wrong to deserve this? Oh, fuck you. Just, no, fuck you. That's all I'm gonna say to you assholes. In other words, it's a load of crap. Well, normally, I'd ignore articles like this. But due to recent events, I feel it needs to be addressed because it gets people fueled to freak out about drawings on paper. 
No, Billy. D wait, wait, wait. Recent events? What, what recent events are you talking Don't about? Don't throw rocks at horny people. Bad Billy. Does your mother know you're making little gestures at me? <laughs> Billy, you're much too young to know what that word means. Billy? Bill? It's a long story short. A crew member of the new Disney cartoon, Amphibia, shared a fan art of one of the girl characters blushing along with the main villain, I assume. I'm a little behind on the show. I'm a busy man. Cut me some slack. Oh, my God. How lewd. Ban it. Ban all art. Seriously? Is this all it takes for crybabies to throw tent or tantrums nowadays? Two characters blushing? Slap some damn sensor bars on that. This led the hashtag, it's not just a drawing, to spread. Hate to break it to you, but it's just a drawing. The article makes ludicrous claims, like Reem and Kylie Carosa. Is this guy really that out of touch with reality? Like, is he just out of touch with how society works that he unironically believes this shit? Uh, what are people saying in the chat? Yeah, it's just a drawing, bro. It's just a drawing. <laughs> the creator of Mighty Magiswords for following porn stars on his Twitter. Because heaven forbid a grown man follow porn stars on his own Twitter. And one thing that ticked me off is... Okay. He... I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. But, I mean, at the same time, why would anybody want to be fucking, like... The, the point I'm trying to say is, the fact that he's being so public about it is, is just really stupid especially considering the fact that you're working on fucking kids cartoons maybe you shouldn't be so public about it i mean that's just a that's just a good idea you know what i'm talking about oh fuck you man. brought up a scenario of a kid loving justice league action and looking up the character designer for it discovering his nudie girl art he doesn't even mention the artist by name he just mentions i worked with john k yeah, just because some artists work for that piece of crap, that means they're all bad. His name is Shane Glynde, you moron. And his art is so tame that even Instagram allows it. Instagram. And I just love how this article tries to paint Zone Sama getting work in the industry as a bad thing just because he started out doing pornographic animations on Newgrounds. Ain't that just how animators get noticed? Make their own stuff and that in turn leads them to professional jobs? Yeah, make your own stuff that isn't porn. Uh, I don't want to watch this anymore. That's so inspiring. So what if he made porn? I'm pretty sure the professionals don't care, and I'm glad they don't. And the well, did, did, he, did he make porn of, like, kid characters in cartoons? I mean... If he did, then yeah, he's a piece of shit. Fuck him. Like, <laughs> this article, it's mentioned how people like Ian JQ and Alex Hirsch are okay with people making pornographic art of their characters. In fact, they joke that people don't make it weird enough. These guys are badass. I'm glad creators nowadays are pretty relaxed. Yeah, when it they're, they're badasses. Um, nigga, Ian Jones Cordy, he's the guy who does, like, the shit for, what's, what's his face? OKKO OK, and Steven Universe, right? D does he not realize that his character, like, at least his main characters are underage? Like, do, do, are you guys really just massaging my head? Whatever happened to Danny Antonucci? Danny Antonucci, please come back. Because he would have he would have made fun of shit like this. Oh my god. Uh, oh, what are you saying in the chat? Hey, what's up, man? Ugh. When it comes to this kind of artwork, it's like they know they can't stop it, and saying they hate it is only going to cause an influx of it to happen. Nothing causes people to do something more than telling them not to do it. Rage Against the Machine can attest to that. And this article <laughs> takes... Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> I, I, love, I love this fucking statement right here. Yeah, you know... You, you guys are telling us not to draw, like, kid characters getting fucked or in sexual situations? Well, uh, joke's on you. We're gonna do it anyway because you guys hate us for it. 
<laughs> Fuck you, Ben Baluni, you piece of shit. Oh my god. It takes a considerable amount of time to talk about how Steven Universe is about sexual relationships and how kids shouldn't be dealing with that kind of thing. Also, Paragon is a child, apparently. I was not told that. Aren't the gems ageless? Well, I'm not too familiar with the show, but the little I've seen of it, that's not the vibe I got. I'll let the Steven Universe fans in the comments rip this Arthur apart for me for that one. Go nuts, people. And the article finishes up by saying the industry needs to take more responsibility in ensuring that kids' shows are for kids again. <sighs> Play the clip. You know what's coming. Play the clip. I said play! Oh, won't somebody please think of the children? It's articles like these that give validation to people who want to try to slam us artists for what we draw. Well, just because it's written in an article doesn't mean it's right. For Pete's sakes, the article was offended by Studio Trigger. Studio Trigger! I have no idea the what that is. that there are still artists who get flack for what they draw is pretty aggravating. I get not liking some of the content, but why do you have to try to act like the moral police and defend fake cartoon characters? Um, if you're drawing porn of, like, kid characters, then yeah, no, you're a fucking piece of shit. Like, there's no other way around it, because you're just a pedophile. I mean, it re is it really this hard to understand to these fucking retards? Like, I I'm not even making a joke. Like, are these people, is there just something so deformed? And I I'm switching, by the way. I can't look at this fucking shit. Is there just something that is so deformed in their fucking minds that they're just unable to grasp why any grown-ass man? Keep on, Ben the Looney is a grown-ass man. He was born in, like, 1992, I think. Okay, so, like, he was born in, like... So he's like around, what's it, he's like 26, 27 at this point? This is a grown-ass man who's literally like, huh, yeah, what's so wrong with people drawing fucking kids getting fucked and shit? They're just cartoon characters. Like, do you guys not, like, am I really just, I'm going crazy right now. I can't watch this shit anymore. Oh, fuck me, dude. Oh. I wish you people put the same amount of effort into protecting real people. I can't draw a certain character because they're not of legal age. Well, okay, of what? Yeah, because you're a pedophile for doing so. It isn't about the character, you idiot. I don't give a fuck about a fictional character. It's about you exposing your pedophilic in uh, tendencies to the whole world... Without giving, without giving a shit. It's, it's not hard to grasp. By that age, the male human brain ha will have reached its full size. Well, there's something wrong with Ben the Looney. Anybody who defends this shit, by the way, there's something wrong with their brain. Like, their brain is just shut off from reality. Like, if they were, like, 11 years old or 12 and they're defending this shit, I mean, don't get me wrong, they're wrong. They are definitely wrong. But you could forgive them and say, oh, they're just dumbass kids saying stupid shit. Ben the Looney is a grown-ass man. He needs to be put in, like, a fucking watch list. And I mean that with all honesty, by the way. All honesty. Like country. And that's pretty stupid giving Wait, ages protecting real people. I can't draw a certain character because they're not of legal age. Well, okay, of what country? And that's pretty stupid, giving ages to cartoon characters. Of what country? I don't know, how about not a kid character? You fucking piece of shit pedophile. The fucking hell, dude. Well, alright, I'll play to your logic. So, if I draw a character who's 16 in the show, but the show came out two years ago, then she's fair game because she's now technically 18. No, oh, don't work that. that's that's not how it works, you fucking retard. It's if the if the character looks like a kid, then you're a pedophile. If she looks like she's twenty years old, then I don't give a fuck. Granted, you're kind of weird for doing so, but I really don't give a fuck. <sighs> fuck this shit. That way, well, if you're gonna apply real life ages to cartoon characters, you should apply real life aging too. And also, what child? We're not talking about actual. 
ages, you fucking idiot. We're talking about characters who are so obviously meant to be kid characters, and you're going around sexualizing them. You're just... My brain! My brain is shut down! I can't do this! I'm legit trying to... Ugh! Oh, look. Fucking SB99. Another fucking piece of shit pedophile. Okay, great. Child. I don't see any child here. All I see is lines and colors on paper. Y'all are the ones make. Alright, Digi Bro. All you see is lines and colors on paper. Yeah, well, let's hold that. Let's hold that up to like a court and let's see if they agree with that statement. Like, d are these people really just this psychotic? Like, I'm not even making a joke here. Is there just something in their mind that is just something that's just refusing to understand and grasp this situation that literally any 20-year-old, any grown-ass man can understand? Is it is it really just that hard? What are people saying in the chat? What are what are people saying in the chat? Yeah, Shad man. Yeah. Digibro said the exact same stupid shit, by the way. Them out to be children. Art is subjective. What's okay to some is not going to be okay to others. But that <laughs> okay, fool. Okay. Yeah, pedoph pedophilia is okay for you, but it's not okay for me. Okay, I can agree with that. I, I hate pedophiles. You don't have an issue with them. So, okay, bro. I got that you. That doesn't mean one person gets to decide what should and shouldn't be allowed. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, no. Murder is wrong. Or, no, no. There might be a person who thinks that murder is okay. Guess what? Murder is still illegal. Wh why? Because it's fucking murder. Same thing with pedophilia. Though, in this case, it's not really illegal, unfortunately. And no, I have no problem arresting pedophiles based on thought, uh, on thought crime, by the way. I, I really don't give a fuck about the pedophile in this case. But, um, using pe the same logic... Pedophilia, some guy like you, for example, might think pedophilia is fine. Okay, so fucking what? You're a piece of shit for doing so. I don't give a fuck. And yeah, I will dictate what you should and should not be allowed to do. If it's wrong, it's wrong. Deal with it. If you ban drawings of cute anime girls getting gangbanged, you should ban these kind of paintings as well. Tell sure. me the difference. I see none. I don't believe... Yeah, sure. If you want to ban middle age uh, pictures, middle age drawings of like fucking babies getting fucked and shit, yeah, go right ahead. I don't give a fuck. People making porn of younger characters means they're kitty diddlers. I believe people. Uh, no, you are. Honestly, you should be put on some type of watch list. All means aside. I used to be. I. I. And by the way, b b like, a, if you were to tell me this a year ago, I would have been more lenient, and I would have actually not been as extreme and been like. Uh, well, you know, these people, some of them, you know, yeah, they're pedophiles, and I don't think they should be on some type of watch list. Yeah, no, they're a ticking time bomb. They should be put on a watch list. I don't care. Little kids are kitty diddlers. And until all the artists you accuse of being kitty diddlers turn out being kitty diddlers, then the burden of proof is on you. And no, you... No, they... No one say. First of all, no one is saying that they're gonna be child molesters. They're saying that they're gonna be pedophiles. They're saying that they're pedophiles, you idiot. It's funny because these are the same type of people who constantly sit there and say, oh, you shouldn't equate pedophilia or being a pedophile with being a child molester, which, yeah, that's true. Not every pedophile is a child molester, but you can't sit there and say, oh, well, you know, we're obviously doing some pedophilic things right here, drawing kid characters from cartoons in sexual manner and waking our nuts off to them, but, uh... You can't prove that we're a child molester. You're a fucking hypocrite. People like you are nothing but hypocrites. It's even worse that he's trying to sound like a smartass about it. Yeah, exactly. That's the funniest thing. He genuinely thinks that he's making, like, an amazing dunk. Like, he's making, like, a dunking argument. Like, haha, I got you, fucker. Can't use their art as proof. If you play Call of Duty, I guess you're a murderer based on the actual fact you play Call of Duty. See how speedy diddlers? Then the burden of proof is on you. And no, you can't use their art as proof. If you play Call of Duty, I guess you're a murderer based on the fact you play Call of Duty. I'm gonna go get soda from my fucking, uh...
from the pantry. I I can't. I gotta take a break from this shit. I I can't. Give me a second, guys. Let me just go get some soda, and then I'll respond to this fucking stupid shit. I'm back. I, I have to get a soda. Anyways, where will where were we at? Oh yeah, we, this this violent video games. But you know, I'm not really gonna. I don't feel like responding to this shit. I, I genuinely don't. So you know what I'm gonna do? Here are here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, people. Uh, I'm gonna load up the new fucking hey, folks. Shut the shut the fuck up. Uh. There's a video from fucking Blackbuster Critic that's aged wonderfully, made five years ago. Just, just watch this. Like, that's all I'm gonna say. Watch this video if you wanna... Yeah. I fucking love Blackbuster Critic. The guy's a legend. I need to clear my mind a bit. We're watching this video for a few minutes, okay? Just a couple minutes. Just let me clear my mind a bit. Do I really... Have to explain this. Do I really have to explain this? Apparently I do. Apparently I freaking what a comparison. What a freaking comparison. It's ridiculous. Violent video games versus drawn child. In a thousand fucking years, I would have never guessed I would have named a video like this. <laughs> but this is the sort of comparison that these fucking pedophiles. See, this is another. This is another reason why people like fucking Blackbuster Critic and a lot of these like old school ranchers. This is another. This is another reason why these YouTubers are infinitely better than the shit that we get nowadays. Their charisma is is off the charts. These fuckers are the most charismatic people you'll ever see on the fucking internet. All right, tell me that this part is not charismatic at all. Violent video games versus drawn child porn. You know, in a thousand fucking years, I would have never guessed I would have named a video like this. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is just charisma overload. 
Like, seriously, this is char charisma at its finest. It's literally just like wrestling, right? Wrestling nowadays, wrestling nowadays sucks so badly because nobody in wrestling now has any charisma. Whereas back then, the wrestlers they had were just oozing charisma so casually. But this is the sort of comparison that these fucking pedophiles and sickos on the internet like to bring up. Because they want to rationalize what they do. They want to justify what they do. They don't make excuses for what they do. They want to damage control the sick shit that they do. And they want to bring up fucking video games as part of their argument. That if masturbating to images of, let's say, um, uh, Bart Simpson. A solid Mario reference. If masturbating the images of Bart Simpson makes you a pedophile, you know, he's just a drawing. A drawing has no age. Right? Then killing people in video games and stuff makes you into a murderer. Yeah, that's right. And you know what? Let's go a step further. Because we've all played Payday, right? Let's get together. Let's go rob you, Ben. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. His fucking charisma is just it's, it's too much I can't handle his charisma <laughs> Oh yeah, guys The first national bank is that way Come on, let's go We're gonna rob the bank We're gonna rob the bank Oh my god <laughs> No Video games not make you into a murderer, a hitman, a gangster, an assassin, a bank robber, a kidnapper. Video games are about entertainment. It's about competition. It's about relaxing, enjoying some time off. It's a hobby. That's what it is. Video games are more than what you guys are trying to make it out to be as violent video games. It's about skill. It's about accuracy. It's about challenges. It's about a story. It's about co uh, character development. It's about creating a world to explore. It's about using strategy. It's about leveling up. It's about getting from point A to point B and enjoying the time it takes between the two. Video games are about interaction online. It's about co-op play. It's about spending time together. You cannot compare that to masturbating to drawn children. And I shouldn't have to explain this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, the fact that this needs to be explained shows that these people are just out of their minds. Or, well, well, let's see what people are saying. I'm I, I'm so glad Blackbuster Critic is coming back. I already love this guy. Yeah, dude, I am so glad. Not gonna lie, Blackbuster Critic returning was kind of one of the things that made me want to return. Because Blackbuster Critic is a fucking legend of YouTube. Okay, his cur he is the, one of the most he is one of the most charismatic, one of the most f funniest, and one of the smartest fucking YouTubers I've ever seen in this website. Easily my favorite ranter of all time. Easily, I want him. You know who she, he he who he should get into a feud with? He should, he should get into a feud with fucking Digi Bro. That shit, that shit would be main event level. I would spend money watching that shit. Okay. <laughs> now, oh my god. It's true. Yes, people have died over a video game, but it's the addictive nature. sorts of stupid shit. People die over stupid shit every day. You can set your watch by it. Every year out here in America, people die on Black Friday. Over televisions, over pots and pants, dishes, Blu-ray players, movies. 
people die over just getting a, a few extra, saving a few extra bucks on some stupid shit, some stupid material stuff. People die. So are we going to blame Walmart for people's death? Are we going to blame pots and pans, televisions, electronics, or people's death? No, it's stupidity within humanity that's to blame. But I don't, I, I don't think I can make it any clearer how comparing that to video games and murder is just completely out there. Now, let's get back to your side of the argument that you're trying to protect. Masturbating to drawn characters that are underage. And you guys say that a drawing has no age. Let me ask you something. It's a very simple question. If I am masturbating to an image of baby trunks, <laughs> a drawing? It's just a drawing. And it turns me on. Come, Channel! <laughs> yes. If I'm masturbating to an image of baby trunks, you need to be fucking worried about me. <laughs> you need to be afraid of what I might fucking do in the future. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because what is that image of? I know it's a drawing, I know. <laughs> but what does the character in the image resemble? A baby. <laughs> like, yeah. That's the whole damn point right there. You guys are fucking masturbating to characters who are underage. These aren't just simple drawings. In the image, you have a character that embodies resembles, looks like, personifies a baby, a toddler, a child. And that's the whole damn point. It's the image of a child that turns you people on. It's the likeliness of a child that turns you people on. Yeah, okay, it, pretty much. Yeah, 100%. I really don't want to close this video, but I, I remember, I just remember I have to finish responding to Ben the Looney shit. Oh my god. If Shadman debated a BBC about Lolly, BBC would rip Shadman a new hole. Exactly. Him or Digi, bro. BBC versus Shadman would be an infinitely better feud than, uh, than with Digi, bro. Yeah. <laughs> It would. It would be great. All right, people. We uh, we have to respond to this shit now. Oh. See how stupid your logic sounds now? No, no. I just played that Blackbuster Critic video. It's, there's no comparison. Kill yourself. No, sexuality and bloodlust are not two different things. I've known people who are attracted to... Yes, they are. Like, and no, it's not bloodlust, you idiot. What? So what? Playing video violent video games means I have bloodlust? Are you fucking retarded? And no, because well, and it's like it's funny because I remember literally getting into a fucking comment dis like a giant comment thread with him like two years ago. And I kept telling him, if you are that confident that it's the same thing, provide me with any fucking study. Any study. It doesn't matter what it is, just any fucking Decent peer-reviewed study. Provide me with a study that shows that people who jerk off I can't believe I'm saying this, but people who jerk off to this lollycon shit somehow are not pedophiles. If you can provide me with a study that shows that there isn't a link between the two, then I can agree with your statement here. Problem is, he never he never provided me with said study. He provided me with an article. Uh, that, first of all, did was not peer-reviewed, and it didn't even look like a credible article at all, so I just completely dismissed it. And second of all, he couldn't provide me – and second of all, the article that he did provide me was literally saying that people who jerk off to Lollicon – or no, no, it was saying that 
like in areas where Lolicon is more available, there's somehow less violent sexual crimes. When that doesn't debunk anything I said, because it doesn't change the fact that the people who are jerking off to Lolicon are attracted, are pedophiles. Ugh, the devil is back. Yeah, no. Big Al was funnier, in my opinion. He really wasn't. Big, I, I mean, honestly, going back and watching some Big Al videos, he, the dude was kind of fucking cringy, to say the least. Cartoon characters more than actual people. So what people draw on paper does not represent them as a person. The same way somebody who's into horror movies or gore isn't a murderous psychopath. Um, I'm not going to explain. I am not going to underestimate my audience's intelligence here and have to explain the difference. I already showed you guys a BBC video. Go watch that if you guys care about it. Some people's ideas of what shouldn't, shouldn't be allowed makes having standards very difficult. Such as the case of the site Gab, which boasts about being all about free speech and allowing everything. Gab. Yeah, you mean that fucking literal neo-Nazi Twitter bullshit? Okay, what about? Yet they banned drawings of short, flat chested anime characters. Oh, they, they banned drawings of literal pedophilia and bullshit? Oh, no. Yeah, I can't believe I'm siding with the neo-Nazis here, but sure, yeah, they're, they're smart. Cool. Good, good job. What's funny is, you'll find all kinds of racial slurs and hate speech on the same site. So yeah, because racial slurs and hate speech is not the same thing as pedophilia, you idiot. I mean, chat, chat, right now, chat, 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 chat. I'm a black guy, okay? I'm a black 20-year-old dude, okay? And I will side with a neo-Nazi over a pedophile any day of the fucking week. Now... Neo-Nazis are typically pedophiles, so they're kind of already intertwined. But a neo-Nazi who isn't a pedophile, I would rather side with him over a pedophile any day of the fucking week. I can't be the only one who agrees with this statement. Chat, if you disagree, I want to see exactly why, and I will debate your ass in the fucking stream right now. Let's see. The, the neo-Nazi wants to murder me and the pedophile is just mentally ill. No. The pedophile wants to go and rape kids. Like, essentially wants to fuck kids. It's, let's not put it in that fucking category. Um, no, no, I would side with a pedophile over... I, I, I would side with a neo-Nazi over a pedophile and it's the fucking week. Alright? My hatred for pedophiles is way more than my hatred for neo-Nazis. Alright? I'm just saying that right now. I mean, don't get me wrong, both of them are pieces of shit. Um, you know, I, I, but fuck them. Fuck them both. But I would rather side with the Nazi over the pedophile. Because at least with the Nazi, here's, like, here's my logic. At least with the Nazi, you can, like, convert him, if that, if that makes sense. Like, you can change his, um, his bullshittery, if that makes sense, right? Like, um, you see those really heartwarming, like, former, former neo-Nazi, like, videos that you would see on YouTube and shit? Like, this one right here that I really enjoyed. Um, My name is Michael Kent. I'm over here at Fallen Heroes to get a swastika covered up. I've never, never, never been in a, inside of a tattoo shop getting a professional tattoo. It's a lot different than the prison style. One, it's not done with guitar strings. It's painful. You get it out. Yes. But it's gonna be worth it. Tell me your story. Behind that shirt is a lot of ink. I was part of a skin hunt group. A very violent group. My first tattoo, in terms of racial tattoo, was my white pride when I got two swastikas, one on my chest. How long have you had that on your chest? Like over 20 years. You talk about that transformation process. This is kind of a good story. But odd story. 
I got my caseload transferred to a black woman. And just marched up to my house. If it wasn't for her, I probably would have been beat back in prison. Do you feel like she became much more than a probation officer? Yes, she's much more than that. So I would look at her as family. I'm Tiffany Whittier. Like, here's my logic. At least with a neo-Nazi, you can, like, convert him, if that makes sense. You can change him. Right? Like, oh, oh wait, I want to, I like this video a lot. It's really important. Hello. 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 She gave me a chance and it opened my eyes. You two are unlikely friends. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I had a German war flag. She said, you need to take that crap down and start putting up more positive stuff. Put up smiley faces. So when you wake up, you see positive instead of hate. That's a big difference. Yeah. That's a big change. Yeah. When you wake up and you see a smiley face, you're going to go to work and you're going <laughs> to smile. Before all this, I wouldn't work for anybody or with anybody that wasn't white. Uh, 13 people that work with me. I'm the only white person there. We have company parties, or they have quinceañeras, or barbecues, or birthday parties. I'm the only white guy there. Last night we were with them. Yeah, at the yeah you, you got, I think you guys get the fucking point. My logic is, with a neo-Nazi, you can change him. You can, you can maybe try to tell him, you can maybe try to get him out of that neo-Nazi bullshit and turn him into a, a good person. Just like what you saw in that fucking video there, the, the nigga, the nigga literally said he's the only person in like at his job who's like white and he's going to quinceañeras and shit and he loves doing so and so I'm hugging a little baby. It's really cute. Um, with those types of videos, with those types or not types of videos, with those types of people, I guarantee you, twenty percent of neo Nazis are like this, where you can convert them back into a normal human being, right? But with a pedophile, you can't do that. These are pedophiles. And that's my logic for why I would rather side with a neo-Nazi over a pedophile. Because with a neo-Nazi, you can maybe change it. You can maybe turn his heart back to, to not hating races just because they're not white. Whereas a pedophile, you can't change these fuckers. It's in their fucking mind. I love it when neo-Nazis only started complaining about Gab when they took away their lollycon. <laughs> wow, really? Whatever. Yeah, those vids are, are cute. Re-education used to be a neo-Nazi. I don't know who that is. I don't know. I don't know what to do with pedophiles besides them seeing therapy to control their urges or whatever. My honest opinion with, with what you should do with pedophiles, and this is what I honestly think, you have to put them on some sort of watch list and they have to be watched for the rest of their fucking life. For, for the rest of their fucking lives. Alright? There's really no other solution for that. Unless we somehow make a medicine that destroys the pedophilia, um, like, thoughts in their mind entirely. Unless we somehow make a medicine that destroys pedophilia within a person, that is what we have to do. And I don't care... I mean, granted, it might suck for some pedophiles, but I don't really give a fuck about them. I really don't. Um, I bet those 5.5k dislikes are the people that are like, duh, there are no neo-Nazis, that is just something that the S-Jews have made up, yeah, pretty much. Um, that video is fucking awesome, though. Uh, all memes aside, I wish Michael Kent the best, I wish that black woman the best, I, I don't really know the cop's name, my apologies, I miss, I'm, I wish her the best, and I wish that guy just in general the best in his life, because... He genuinely seems like he has been transformed from a guy I wouldn't want to be with at all to a decent person, a decent human being. And not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, people. First time I watched that video, first time I watched that video, I got a little bit teary eyed. All right, it was genuinely a heartwarming video. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it is a mental illness. There's literally no other way of, and it's but it's not just a mental illness. It's dangerous. It is just like. A ticking time bomb so there needs to be like a watch list or at least or like have an agent watch them yeah like if there's some if there's like an organized watch list where they can do what they want to do but they have but they have to go through like a lot of procedures and make sure that they're not like 
going around doing anything, like, dangerous or whatever. If there's something like that, I'd be fine with it. I'd be fine with it. And honestly, if we had something like that in, in place, I would be more willing to accept pedophiles as part of the society. Because at that point, at least, at least at that point, you won't, you won't feel as terrified that this pedophile is going to do dangerous shit. All right, let's finish watching this garbage. According to Gab, literal hate speech is as bad as drawings of anime. Oh, uh, no, it isn't. It really isn't. I'm a black kid who believes this, by the way. I would, ra again, I would rather side with a neo-Nazi any day of the fucking week over a pedophile. Does not matter. Priorities. And I get it. A site can allow whatever they want. But when Twitter is more lenient on content than the supposed free speech Twitter alternative, I think you need to revise your mission statement. Uh, Twitter also has Lollicon banned right now. Like, they, they, they even made that change recently, saying that anybody who draws something like Lollicon is going to get banned. Literally any website, any logical website would have that shit immediately banned. Like... And professional animators having dirty sides is nothing new. Since the early days of Disney, everybody working professionally has drawn nude art in some way or another. Yeah, they would draw new nude art of adult characters. Granted, it's weird. No one is going to deny that it's not weird. But at the same time, nobody has a problem with that because it's not you drawing your pedophilic uh, tendencies on a sheet of paper without giving a shit. Because guess what? That's how artists were taught in school. To draw naked people. That's how you learn anatomy. You don't show up to a life drawing class and the model is covered in a sheet. How does that teach us how the body works? Porn art is stigmatized because the human body is stigmatized. Why can't we do like the Europeans do and acknowledge that the human body is beautiful and not meant to be shamed? They have red light districts over there. Every country has their own Las Vegas for Pete's sake. I'm going to friggin' Amsterdam after this video. Let Are people in Amsterdam, like, going around drawing pedophilic art and praising that shit? Because if so, then they're pieces of shit, like, either way, and I don't really give a fuck. And if not, then... Yeah, then yeah, no, this is a stupid comparison. And also, like, this is, this right here is literal projection right here. Like, he's literally being like, why, I don't get it. Why is it that in our society, we, we, we shame, like, people, you know, we shame the human body. First of all, we don't shame the human body. We have, America has one of the most sexualized societies in the fucking world. Are you kidding me? If you really want to talk about fucking um, shaming the human body, go to fucking uh, like uh, Asia or whatever where they expect everyone to be covered up. Um, but yeah, no, this is just fucking autism. Like, re really just plain autism. Uh... Why is meme culture so accepting of these crazy? Because because meme culture is fucking stupid. Pros draw whatever the hell they want on their own damn free time. Yeah, You're I want to draw pedophilic art, and I don't give a shit. <laughs> Just go go shove a fork down a fucking plug, you piece of shit. You're not taking my Chris Sanders and Bruce Tim girls away from me. I won't let you. Rawr! And I hate to break it to you, but. Artists aren't your babysitters. I make it very clear my artwork is for adults only. If I post my artwork on a website that allows it and kids still find a way to see it, that's not my fault. Yeah, it's not your fault, but I don't either way I don't really care because if you're if you're posting it for adults only, congratulations, you're posting it for more pedophiles to go and jerk off to your stupid shit. What a hero, ladies and gentlemen. Pedophi a pedophile sharing his his dipshit pedophilic tendencies with other stupid pedophiles. Like, wow, that's really great. Yeah, most of these artists that draw naked people are probably not drawing freaking chill. Exactly. Like, the fact that he... The fact that he really doesn't seem to understand this is what really just annoys the absolute shit out of me. 
I shouldn't have to censor myself just because there's oh, a Oh, I, sh I shouldn't have to censor myself. <laughs> Fuck you, you piece of shit. I would, I would have you and anyone like you put on a watch list. Fuck. Fuck freedom of speech. I don't give a shit about that garbage. Okay, I really don't at this point. Kids will see it. The same way I don't expect alcohol to get banned worldwide just because kids get caught well, drinking. Well, alcohol actually is banned in a few countries, believe it or not. Um, and second of all, uh, drinking alcohol, I know this may sound shocking, but drinking alcohol is not the same thing as drawing lollipops. I mean, you probably still shouldn't do it because alcohol has done a lot of crazy shit. Um, because people who are, like, drunk and shit have done a lot of crazy shit, but, but it's not the same fucking thing. Art exists for a reason. For us to do things that we otherwise can't do in real life, what's drawn on paper can't hurt anybody, and to say otherwise is foolish. No one's saying that. What they're saying is that anybody who draws, like, fucking, for example, wanting to draw Bart Simpson naked and shit and jerking off to it, what they're saying is that these people are pedophiles and need to be put on a watch list, which they are. Anyways, what are people saying? Send them to the firing squads. I wouldn't go that far. But no, I, I really don't give a fuck about freedom of speech and when it comes to Lollicon and shit. And generally speaking, my, 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 I, I really just don't care about freedom of speech at all anymore. Freedom of speech? Fuck that shit. I really just don't care about it anymore. And that's putting it nicely. Oh, nicely? If we start censoring art and saying what can and can't be drawn, and start allowing companies to pursue legal action against artists that want to make fan art of characters they love, you know what that's going to look like? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's going to start looking like fucking the Soviet Union. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Fuck freedom of speech. And it's and it really isn't that it's really not that hard. Here's here's the basic rules, right? The basic rule is this: if you draw kids getting fucked or kids in sexual situations, you're a pedophile. That shit is illegal, and you need to be put on some type of watch list. It's that simple. I know this video is gonna fall on a lot of deaf ears. I've grown not to be bothered by people ringing my ass for my art. What are they gonna do? Tweet me to death? I mean, sure. If you wanna those... be, if you wanna continue being a pedophile and spreading propaganda, go right ahead. I mean, I don't really give a fuck. All, all you're doing is really just exposing the world to your fucking like dipshittery. Those who need some validation. Those who do get a lot from naysayers. Those who start to question if what they're doing is right or wrong. Well, let me tell you. It's not wrong. You draw whatever the yeah. hell you want. You <laughs> if you want to be a pedophile, just go right ahead and be a pedophile. I mean, it, it, I mean it's just whatever, you know? <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, my God. I need to watch a blackbuster critic to recover from this. Yeah, pretty much. Freedom to, freedom to be harmful. Exactly. Like, it really is. It's pretty much propaganda. <laughs> communism? Yeah, like, it's funny because he literally brings up communism out of nowhere. Like, what? Whatever character you want making the hanky-panky, you ain't hurt anybody doing that. Other than the people who don't know the difference between lines on paper and the real thing. <laughs> Alright, bro. I mean, yeah, continue being a pedophile, you know? Just continue showcasing those pedophilic, pedophilic in tendencies and not try to get any help, you know, supporting that shit. You know, just, just keep doing it, you know? Just make sure you don't make porn of real people like Shadman did. Shad, I love you, buddy, but that was a little <laughs> overboard. I love, I love how he says. No, no, wait. I love how he says this. But, but Ben, Ben, isn't it just a drawing though? It's just a drawing. Like, why does it matter so much? Ben, what's the problem here? I mean, I, I it's just a fucking drawing. I mean, he, ma he made. <laughs> He made a he made a drawing of a real I mean, who cares? You know, it's just a drawing, you know? I mean <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Oh 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 my god.
I love it. He he essentially debunks his entire video. He debunks his entire video by saying this. I mean, because you can use the exact same logic for what Shadman did. I mean, it's just a drawing, bro. I mean, who gives a fuck? Just a drawing. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, Ben, ben if, you, if you think that Shadman, what he did was wrong, then you should, uh, then you pretty much shot yourself in the foot, and you pretty much admitted that every time you draw a kid being in a sexual situation, that they are in a, that they are a pedophile, and that they're a piece of shit, so thank you, Ben, for that, and I'm gonna end the video off on this note, uh, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm gonna finish responding to it, oh, and Shadman is a complete piece of shit, by the way, and he needs to be put on a fucking watch list right fucking now. From the very beginning. Okay, what are people saying? That being said, draw, draw, and draw. Yeah, some. yeah, you know, sad man, you, you shouldn't have drawn, uh, you know, real kids in, like, sexual manners, man. That, that, was, uh, that was wrong of you to do so. But, but, but it's just a drawing, though. It's just, it's just, remember the whole, it's just a prank, bro, memes? We gotta make another, um, we gotta make another meme. It's just a drawing, bro. It's just a drawing, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, let's do that. Fill the world with deviancy. Turn the Western world on its head. Stick it to years of Puritan authoritarian persecution. Live and let loot. I'm Ben T. Looney, I'm gonna go teach a kid a lesson. Billy, get back here. I'll show you how to throw time. You're not at me. funny. Just stop. You're not funny. You're cringy. You're you're fucking autistic. Like just end yourself, please. Oh, what what are people what are people saying? Uh I'm gonna do, should I read some of the comments? Shadman was in the fucking military. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that just that just gives me another reason to despise the fucker. Fuck him. He's a piece of shit. All right. Uh, let's see here. Um, this this world is so PC that if people saw anything with a millimeter with a millimeter of skin, they would have a fit. Most wait, what? That makes no sense. Shut up. Let's see if I can find any uh, dumb comments. Uh, I agree with you, Ben. I believe art is art. I don't care if it's fetish art or furry art. Yeah, or, or pedof pe pedophile art, you know? Um, if it had passion put into it, it goes with me. Oh, <laughs> if it had passion put into it, it goes with me. Oh, so if Hitler, <laughs> Hitler obviously had a lot of passion when he did the Holocaust, but since he had passion, you know, put into it, oh, that, that's fine. That's completely, completely fine. <laughs> Sadly, my younger sister doesn't think so. Well, your younger sister is a smart person. Yesterday, I was looking at a picture of, on fur, fur Affinity, an innocent picture, not a picture of two furries having sex. And my sister came in and, and saw what I was looking at and got angry. She threw a toy skateboard at me and shouted, that's what you get for being so disgusting. Your younger sister, oh, bless her soul. B bless, bless her soul. <laughs> Oh God, bless her soul, bless her soul, indeed. Um, uh, your ch your channel gets false flag for uh, retweeting for hurting Fifi's, and Bender Looney gets to keep his channel despite being a pedophile. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, remember when you got into a feud with some artist? That kid was so dumb. Who's worse, Bender Looney, T Moss Boss, or Christian? Get the fuck out of here. Nigga, why are you mentioning fucking Team Os I'm putting you on timeout for like just for saying Team Os boss. Fuck you. Fuck. No, for real. The fact that you unironically think the fact that you unironically think that I give a shit about Team Os boss shows like you're a fucking idiot. Please leave. Don't come back for a little bit. Put your on put your you're on timeout just for that. Fucking just a robot faggot. Get, get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. Talking about who, who's worse, Ben the Looney, T Moss Boss, or Chris Chan. <laughs> fuck you, you dumb bitch. Get, get the fuck out of here. Get just get out. Just don't, don't come back. All right. What what else are people saying? Um.
Oh, this is actually a decent comment right here. Oh, oh, this is a really decent comment. Everyone, everyone watching this right now, from this guy, Jamble, I don't want no last name. Go like this dude's comment. Let's read it right now. Ben, sexual pleasure is a vastly different thing the enjoyment the enjoyment one gets from playing shooter games. The joy a person gets from FPS games comes in the form of joy of joy from being able to take out and win against your enemies or enemy team in a variety of outlandish ways, which is why people do stuff like knife only runs or why the 360 no scope meme even exists. Sexual pleasure is an entirely different beast altogether in the brain. Ask yourself, would you draw porn of something you don't get off to? Would you spend hours of your time on drawing something that turns you off? The answer is obviously no. People like Shadman or others who have drawn lolly or showed a porn heavily reference the bodies of real children. Something proven by Shad, by Shad posting reference pics of Daphne Keen and L L Lieutenant Corbus in his Discord. Nobody but God, nobody but God themselves, and possibly the child. Okay, okay, sorry, I couldn't read that for a second. Nobody but God themselves, and possibly the child, know if these people have actually gone out there and diddled the child, but they sure as hell are pedophiles. P pedos who get off to children and try to live out their sick fantasies in the form of art. Quit trying to excuse this shit. Nobody who is a degenerate who want nobody who isn't a degenerate wants who wants to Okay, this guy's grammar is pretty shit, but ignore that. Nobody who isn't a degenerate wants to fuck underage people um, oh wait, never mind, it's my reading that's terrible, I apologize. Nobody who isn't a degenerate who wants to fuck underage people draws lolly or showed up. This, this guy, this guy, everyone right now, go to this guy's fucking comment and like the shit out of it. I want it to be the top comment on this fucking video. I need it to be the top comment. Everyone right now, go and like this fucker's comment right here. Jamble, I don't want let. How do you link a comment? I forgot how to do so. I think it's like this. Yeah, it is. Okay, everyone, right now, go like this dude. Go like this fucker's comment right now and, and just... Like the shit out of it. You don't even need a comment or reply. Just like it. I need it to be the top comment on this video. I need it to be. Otherwise, I'm not satisfied right now. Everyone go do so right now. It's at two likes right now. It's at two likes. It needs to be at least 400. Okay? Well, I know that will never get to that much, but it needs to be like one of the top comments. Everyone right now go like that fucking shit. Now. Like, I'm, 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 I'm t being honest. This is shit. It needs to be liked now. All right, all right, all right. Here's a here's, here's another great comment from this guy. This guy's a fucking G what's wait, does this guy make videos? Or is he just a guy who comments? Uh, no, he doesn't make any videos. He subscribed to Mr. Medicare though. Um, not that I really give a fuck about Medicare that much anymore, but whatever. And to further nail my point at this uh, 606 and 633, Nick Bates, sick Nick. Sick Nick Pedo Poop Bates was a lollycon who drew lolly scat porn of his in real life younger half sister since she was since she was five years old. All the time, all the while, all the while he was molesting her. Sick Nick is currently serving a forty year prison sentence for the shit he did. So yes, what people draw on paper, he puts that in quotation marks, uh, quotation marks. Does represent them as a person. Lollicons are fucking kidly, kitty diddling degenerates. It's only a matter of a, a matter of fucking time until the law catches them. Like that comment, people. That's all I'm gonna say.
Anyways, guys, I legit need to go study. This was fun, but um, I gotta go. This was fun as fuck. Anyways, like I said, like is comment. I'm gonna link it one more time. Anyways, people, I'm out. Peace.